Hi, this is Katie. First of all, guess what I can't find? I'll give you one guess. You'll know my tripod. I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I'm going to be holding my camera for a little bit. But today's video is going to be my monthly or every other month or so uh, classic. Katie's car is real messy. So let's do something about it. I'm going to clean. I'm going to organize. You guys are going to help me. Um, it's just... You know, it's not that bad, but like it's bad enough that like I really need to do it. I really, really need to organize and I need to clean. And I'm super excited to show you guys a couple things that I bought for my car. I'm really, really excited. Um, I got a new thing to put my food in. I got a new cleaning thing. <laughs> I know those might not excite some people, but cleaning your car and organizing food excites me. So we're gonna get into it. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... <sighs> There you go. That's good for now, I guess. Um, yeah, we're just gonna clean the car. We're just gonna chit chat, and uh, and that's it. Oh, 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 oh! I also got a new um, one of these guys because oh, I need to put the air on. Sorry. Um, I got a new car phone holder thing because mine broke. I had this one for several years, but it broke. So here, let me show you what I'm doing. So since my CD player is at like a really good height for me, I like to use the car phone holders that go into the CD player. I had this IATI one, I don't know, for a while and it slips a lot. And so I wanted to get a new one and I wanted one specifically also like with the bottom so it doesn't slip as much. So taking that out. And then I got this new one on Amazon by, does that say Joy Room? I think it says Joy Room. Um, I'll link it below. It was like $10 or something. So we'll see how it works. You just kind of like put it in there and then I guess you tighten that. Is it that simple? Huh, yeah, I guess so. All right, that's cool. And then let's test it. So this button on the bottom like opens it like real fancy. So, and then you just put your phone in it and then you close it. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy, that's good. And then if you wanna take your phone out, you just press the button in the back again. Huh, I like that. Let's just kind of show you what we're working with here. So the back, that's stuff to return at Target. Um, and then this is like all my sheets and stuff. And then here's just some random stuff and then my shoes. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while and you've seen some of my like car organizing videos um, or car tour videos or anything like that, you would maybe remember that I used to just have all my food in this big Yellowstone bag, like a reusable, like plasticky, you know, it's like reusable bags. And it was just really like all thrown in there and like not really organized. And it was just kind of starting to get to me. Like I know that I'm not on the road right now. I am staying with one of my friends, but I still am in my car a lot. I'm still driving around a lot. And I like to have snacks in my car. <laughs> I think everyone should have snacks in their car, whether you live in your car or you're driving around or you're on a road trip or you're just living your everyday life. I think snacks in the car is like an A plus thing to do. And I just was kind of getting sick of having them all in the bags. I didn't really know what was in there. Um, stuff started like expiring and I didn't even know because I couldn't see it because like the bag was so big anyway so I wanted to get like more of like a food organizer and this makes me so excited which makes me feel like such an adult that like organized food makes me excited but it does and so I also bought some um, like new food to put in there and so let me show you look at this organizer I hope that you can tell um, I got it on Amazon it was like 20 bucks I'll link it um, most things that I talk about are linked in my Amazon recommended. So if you want to check it out, but it's just a little like, you know, this material, little organizer thing. And it just fits perfectly. This is just right in between my seats on the floor in the back seat, obviously. So I have a bunch of tuna. I have my favorite, uh, Tillamook beef jerky. I have some, like some nuts and stuff. And these, I love these 180 skinny rice bars. I don't even care that they're called skinny rice bars. Like that's not the point. The point is, is that they taste really good. They kind of taste like a lemon poppy seed muffin a little bit. Um, I have olives, I have peanut butter crackers, plantain chips. And these I got at like um, Home Goods or whatever, or TJ Maxx. And then a bunch of these little like singles, like 100 calorie packs and stuff I got at Walmart. So a lot of this I got at Walmart. These I got at Home Goods as well. Um, yeah, I was just so excited to have that organized. Like seriously, like it makes me so happy knowing that all my food is organized here. Okay, so 
I have a couple things to return, which is like the most common thing that I ever say, right? Like I always have stuff to return, but this time around, I may have mentioned it in a YouTube video or on Instagram or something like several weeks ago that I was looking for jeans. You guys, the quest for jeans for me has been one of the most difficult things in terms of shopping that like I've ever had to do, which I know sounds a little dramatic, but it has been dramatic. <laughs> It, uh, okay, so in the last year, I've gained, honestly, I thought I gained like 15 or 20 pounds, but I really only gained about 10 pounds in the last year. And that meant that I ended up going up about two sizes in my jeans or so. I didn't fit into really any of my jeans anymore. And a lot of them I put up on my Poshmark, which some of you guys might know, but if you're curious and want to see what jeans I have for sale, they're from my Poshmark. Most of them are 26s. But um, I just need to find new jeans. And so in my head, I'm like, well, here's some of my favorite jeans in a 26. Let me just get a 27 or 28. And I did that. A lot of them were like Levi's. I did that. None of them fit right. None of them fit right because I didn't gain the weight like evenly. Like I mostly gained it in my stomach, but like not in my hips at all. Um, and then like a little my legs and like a little, like a little proportionately, but not enough that jeans fit. And so I went everywhere and bought jeans. Um, I went to Target, I went to TJ Maxx, I went back to Levi's, I ordered some from H&M, like I bought a ton of jeans. And the ones that I finally found that fit me, and especially again, because like my waist to hip ratio is quite small, um, my waist is a little bit larger, my hips are a little bit smaller, the best jeans that I have found, and I would have never even thought to shop here, because like I just never really shopped there in the past, um, but I found jeans that fit, Express, and the Express Outlet at the Opry Mills Mall in Nashville. Um, I'm sure there's Express Outlets everywhere too, but like the jeans were only, or only, comparatively, not very expensive. I think they came out to like 40 bucks each. If you get them full price, I think they're like 80, but they have like half off at the outlets. So I found jeans. I got their like high rise skinny. I think I also got a pair of like the mid-ish rise skinny. I generally like high rise, but the mid rise are still pretty high. And then a pair, like one pair of their straight leg jeans or something. And I also found a couple pairs at H&M of their like vintage slim or something it was called, some of their high rise stuff. But anyway, so I have a bunch of stuff. I have Levi's jeans to return. Love Levi's, but they just are not fitting my body type right now. Um, and then I also have have, um, mm, mm, mm. I have these Target ones to return. So a lot of the stuff in my car right now is to return. Wow, we this is this video is already like 45 minutes in and I haven't cleaned one thing. All right, Katie, let's <laughs> let's um oh, crap. Should I return all the stuff first so that like I have room? That might be smart. That might be a smart thing. Um, I always put my coats up here. Wow, so this is a this is a catch up with you and then a, a little bit of a cleaning video. And let me just, let me show you one other thing I'm excited about. I'm very excited today. Um, one other thing I'm excited about is, where did you go? No! Oh, here, in the bag that I thought it was in. I bought, <laughs> bought this on Amazon yesterday. It was like eight bucks or so, something like that. Um, this is dust cleaning gel. AKA, this is slime. This is straight up slime, but it gets into all like the little crevices in your car. Supposedly, I haven't tried it yet. I just got it, uh, maybe I got it today in the mail. I think maybe I got it this morning, but I guess it's just, let's open it. I think it's just slime, guys. Which is kind of exciting. Wow, this is filled to the top top. Oh, because there's like a bubble. You guys, this is just slime. This is fun. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> wow. Cleaning my car just got fun, guys. <laughs> this is slime. But I guess it's really good. Because do you guys remember playing with like silly putty and slime and stuff when we were kids? Or I guess, I mean, the kids are doing it now too. But like, if you dropped it, it always picked up stuff on the floor, like if there was any dirt or whatever on the floor. So like, duh, that it's a good cleaning thing. This is fun. All right, so anyway, we'll clean with that later. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna return a bunch of this stuff first so like, I have more room in the car um, to actually organize my stuff. And then we're gonna try out that slime and see if it like actually picks up dust and dirt and stuff. I think it's gonna. Um, all right, cool, I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
guys, it is several hours later. <laughs> I ran a couple errands. Uh, I had a little snack. I had some tuna. Um, and I went to Target and returned some stuff and then bought some stuff. <laughs> I went to TJ Maxx and returned some stuff. Now, let's get back into the car cleaning. <laughs> so the front seat, I'm not even gonna tackle right now because a lot of it is really just stuff I have to bring in the house. I got a package at my PO box. I got really cool wrapping paper. Can you tell that it's glittery? Can you tell that it's gold glitter? I don't know, but anyway, so the front seat I'm just not gonna tackle. It's just stuff to bring inside, but the back seat and the trunk. I think the trunk is pretty good. Let's, let's check the trunk. Let's check the trunk because I don't actually know. I'm just parked at Target by the way, but anyway, let's check. Okay, so nope, I lied. Remember I said that I thought it was good? It's not. Okay, so this is just trash or recycle. Um, this oh man okay all right hold on okay wow these shadows Ooh, there's a double elbow shadow. <laughs> wow what entertains me guys wow anyway okay so let's move some of this stuff um these are like hair dyeing gloves or i mean gloves to do whatever you want but i use them to dye my hair when i used to dye my own hair okay so these, I have some like tin whistles and stuff back here, like some flutes, but I want this to go here and this to go here. Okay. And then these are the drawers that usually have my clothes in them, but I just have all the clothes in the house, but they actually do fit perfectly besides my jackets. All my clothes fit in there. Um, and then these, we've talked about this. This is like extra skincare and stuff um, and body care in these. So then all just this other random stuff. I have my first aid kit. I mean, it's not like the neatest, but that is all gonna stay there. So I mean, I guess that can just stay there. This can go here. Maybe I'll see if I can get like a bin or something. And then this is just a little bin of mostly hand warmers and some wipes. It doesn't close. So like, this is not good like that, but I'm just not sure. Like all of this stuff, essentially, I wanna be over here. All the wipes all like you know like the squishy ball and um some extra flashlights and battery chargers and stuff like that i want to be over here so i have to find a way to organize that better um i know you can't really see it sorry there you go this is just stuff that like i use and i want but I need to figure out how to organize it so maybe i'll find like a tall and thin bin or something and then on this side, this is kind of like my hiking and camping side. So I have my tent, I have my hiking shoes, I have a fan, I have a lantern, um, just some extra garbage bags. I guess these would go over here, I guess. Um, this like, ace bandage would go over here as well. And then yeah, like a dry bag and a little backpack and stuff like that. So like this is all organized because I have not touched this in a while. Um, and again, it might not like look super, super organized, but for what I need and for how it fits, like I'm good with that. Um, and then this is my little national park like book thing. So that stays there as well. So, I mean, I do want to find something to help organize that side, but besides that, like this is all fine. Like I'm okay with how that side looks, but that side I'm not okay with. Hi. Hey guys, I'm on my phone, so I don't know if the quality is a little different, but after I recorded um, that footage of me showing you my trunk, I went into Target and look what I found. It's one of those like magazine racks, or, like file holders or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about these things. I got it in like the home office section and it fits perfectly right there. Yeah, it's just one of these like metal-ish things. It was like 12 or $13 and it holds all of my like cleaning supplies and stuff perfectly. And then I just put my CDs, because yes, I still have CDs. I put those and my first aid kit back here, because that fits perfectly. And then just the couple extra things that didn't fit in here, over here. So like this squishy ball and these like little towel wipey things. And then put my hats on top and that's it. Now it's super organized. Oh, there's my shadow. Hi. Oh, creepy. Oh, so creepy. Okay, bye. Okay, so I also, P.S., just bought new ones of these, which was just as exciting, or almost as exciting as buying the new um, little food bin. But these, again, I'll link them below. Um, it came in a pack of two, so there's one over there as well underneath those jackets. Um, but it's just a an organizer for all this stuff behind the seat. I used to have this one. I didn't get rid of it yet. Um, I had this one, which was really just for the top. 
to hold my stuff. But this one actually goes all the way to the bottom. And so I can keep my little sunshades here. Um, I have my lint roller, um, extra gloves and stuff, and um, reusable bags are there. I usually keep a water bottle right here, but I actually used it. Um, so that's super organized. This is just my sleeping bag, some extra toilet paper, and um, some papers down there. This napkin does not need to be there. But anyway, so this side is like super organized. This, I think it's finally time to bite the bullet and just get rid of these sheets, because I have not used them in like six months. Um, I think it's just time to, to donate them or something. Um, and then I'm gonna bring these blankets inside because it's getting a little cold. I just was using like one blanket for the summer, but now that it's getting a little cold, I'll bring in my other blankets. So this pile really won't be here. Um, but then when I'm back in the car, it'll really just be like, you know, the two blankets or something. And then this I wanna get rid of, just an empty bag, which I keep, I'll show you, like right here, kind of, like underneath the front seat, but behind. I'll use those for trash and stuff. Oh, I have a little bag of Doritos. This thing of food is so like kind of healthy and then kind of not. Like I have Doritos and I have tuna and I have nuts and I have like protein bars and whatever. But anyway, okay, so these clothes, what's in here? These are just some clothes that I have on my Poshmark. This is like a really beautiful tank top, but it just doesn't fit me. Um, a cute little button down. This is another gorgeous button down that I never even wore because it's a little too small on me, but like a black silky button down. This that you've seen me wear in videos before, this like pink frilly one. So that's all on my Poshmark with a ton of other stuff that's just in the house. So I should probably bring the stuff in the house and organize it there because there's a lot of stuff on my Poshmark. Um, okay, now let's go to the other side. So really this side, okay, a couple of empty bags, another, see, this is why I prefer, <laughs> I prefer this kind of lint roller that like closes up because it doesn't stick anywhere. See how this rolls up and then it rolls back down so it doesn't stick? I love it. I love it, especially for the car um, because this, <laughs> got stuck to this. So now I have to take this whole thing off. I mean, I'll do that later. I have my desk that I use, you know, if I'm on my computer or even if I'm eating, I used it uh, the other day when I was eating in the car. So this I'll probably, I'll put there for right now. Um, here's just another bag. Okay, and then I showed these in a recent video, um, kind of like body wipes. I also have a ton of napkins. I have so many napkins. Okay, put those, I keep my napkins in the front. Oh, a water bottle, an unopened water bottle, yes. I can put this back here. See, I guess on this side, you can almost get like a better scope of how large this is with all these pockets. Um, and this pocket's see-through, and I think how they advertise it, they had like an iPad in there, or an iPad mini or something in there. If you have like kids in the back or just you're in the back, um, if you're sleeping or something. Okay, this is one of my favorite books that I'm rereading. I have plates. These are kind of unnecessary in the car because I feel like I, I feel like I rarely use plates. Even when I'm on the road and I'm in the car, I'm still kind of usually just not using plates. Um, and these take up a lot of room. So I'll bring those in the house as well. This is a giant tripod. So like that, I can just move those books and I'll probably put my shoes on the ground. These boots, I they're on my Poshmark. If nobody buys them soon, I might take them off and wear them myself. I only wore them like once. Um, they're from Zara. I got them last year. They're leather. I think they're leather. They were expensive. They better be leather. I think they were like over $100 or something. Um, but anyway, they're on my Poshmark if you're interested. I think they're a size six. But if they don't sell by the winter, I might keep them. And then I have these like suede Chelsea boots with these little rhinestones. You guys know I love rhinestones on my shoes. <laughs> I have these, I have these, which I really need to get cleaned. Can you see? I don't know what stains those are. I've had these for years. I love these. Um, another pair of boots that I absolutely love. Are these from Zara too? Yeah, Zara has really good shoes. I love their clothes too, but they rarely ever fit me. But Zara has really good shoes. I hope you can tell in the lighting. I, I don't know. Um, I have those, I have these that I, haven't really worn. Maybe I'll throw those up on my Poshmark too. Um, and then I just have a couple pairs of shoes in the house. Like I don't really have a lot. Oh, I have these other boots as well that are <laughs> smushed. So 
I probably, even if I keep them in here, cause look, like all these fit in there fine, but I definitely have to stuff them because they are getting like real, um, you know, mushed up. <laughs> like they're not, they're not doing well in how they are. But if I stuff them with socks or whatever, and then let me put that on the floor and see how that goes. Okay, I moved those books. This might actually not fit on the floor. Um, it might be worth, you know, buying another one of these, but that's a little bit thinner and taller. Um, I need both hands, hold on. You're gonna have the angle of just hanging on my neck. Okay, so that actually does fit. Um, and I'm not sure anything taller would even work because it might hit over here, it might hit the, um, the seat. So this actually might work out perfectly. Again, if I can like stuff these shoes and kind of make sure that they're packed properly, I think that they could fit. So that could work. And then again, on the floor, it's just this, my sleeping bag on that side, and then the food in the middle. And then you guys know also like when I'm sleeping in the car, I like to watch YouTube and stuff before I go to sleep or Netflix or something. So I have one of these little hangy things. This is actually one of those that's like supposed to go on your neck and like hold it upwards or something, but I just threw it over the seat. And so my phone holds there. I also have a little fan. So obviously if I'm sleeping, I would move these coats to access that stuff. Um, and then when I get back in the car, I'll put more, you know, like the stuff that I use every night maybe in these pockets. Actually these, can go up here. Come on, coats. Let's cooperate. All right, you just <laughs> go over there for a second. So this is what it looks like without the coats. I have the fan, I have my baby wipes, I have my phone holder. There's a lot on this side. <laughs> um, but these, I can put in here. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, that's really good for, especially for like right now since I'm not in the car, but that is actually pretty organized, so that's good. That's the back seat. We did it. So that I'm just gonna bring the sheets again somewhere, Goodwill or something that they take donated sheets. And then I'm gonna bring that box inside to organize more of my Poshmark clothes. Cool. This looks really like this looks really, really good to me. I'm really, really happy. Why does that seem so Oh, that's why. It's like, well, that seems so close to my face. So most of the deep cleaning of my car is gonna be another day. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm also gonna wash the outside of it at some point. I'm gonna go vacuum it and stuff like that, but I need to, I need to try this out. I need to try this out. Maybe just like the dash. Like I'll do like the dash. <laughs> I just really wanna play with this. Come on. <laughs> okay, um, let's try over here. You see all that dust? Oh yeah, look at how that works. That like legit works. Wow, oh, I don't know why I'm so excited. Does this mean I'm like a real adult now? Obviously I didn't like finish the whole thing, but I just wanted to test this out. That is so cool, that is so cool. Yeah, I mean, it's not getting like everything, but that's because I didn't wipe it down first. Like you're supposed to wipe it down first and then use this. So I, if, I, if I did that, it might actually like really, really work. It essentially, it's reusable. You can't wash it or anything. It's reusable though, and it basically just says get a new one when this like changes into like a dark, darker blue, and you can tell it's like super dirty. But I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching me and my <laughs> my new slime. Hope that you enjoyed this little like chatty hang out with me video with a little bit of a little bit of car organizing, a little bit of car cleaning. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I really hope that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram as well. And I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.